In this video I'm going to show you how to park sales at point of sale. Now parking a sale is just putting it on hold so that you can pick it up later or maybe even transfer it between tills. If you're running point of sale on an iPad perhaps in the store and want to complete the sale at the till then you can just park it on the iPad and then pick it up at the till. Alternatively you can let the customer go away come back a couple of days later and then unpark it. So the first thing we need to do is create a new sales status for parked EPOS sales. In the setup area, go sales, sales statuses, and let's add a new status. Let's just call it EPOS parked. Choose a nice color. It's also handy for Brightpell to remind us if we've not updated a parked sale in a certain number of days, and let's just choose three. Let's add that new status. We can see here we've got a new sales status called EPOS parked. I'm going to bring that down so it's next to my EPOS in progress status. Great. So now let's go other and then set up EPOS and choose a status for parked sales. Here we choose EPOS parked and then save changes. This will turn on the parking functionality. So we're logged into uh, the Bristol store as Paul. Now Paul's on an iPad and uh, Chris is on a till. And over here we've got Chris logged in on a different browser. So on Paul's computer, or Paul's iPad, we create a new sale. And let's create a sale for an existing customer. Let's just choose Helen. And you now see we've got a button on the right hand side called Park. Let's add some items, just some waterproof trousers. And then Park it. This will update the status to the status we've just created and take you to the parked screen. If I go across to the other computer and click home, you'll see we've now got one parked sale. Clicking that takes me to the park list where I can see Helen's sales and open it up. Here I can close it, void it, or if I wanted to, put it back on parked. If we have a look at the back office, you can see what's going on. Sales recent sales and at the top of the list here's the one for Helen Parker let's edit that and in the notes and payment history tab you can see that it's been moved between in progress and parked a couple of times and you can see who's done it and when they did it so that's an overview of parked sales